Well, Christian, there is definitely room for development. And I think with the, the today's symposium and tomorrow's and the exhibition, we will show it. No problem, I know you have to run. <laughs> That's our Schulleitung is always on the run. I propose that they have sneakers and not these, uh, so it can be <laughs> running faster. So good day to everybody and uh, distinguished guests. Many of you have been introduced today and I would really like to thank ETH, which has made possible this, um, this event. It's uh, not, not really easy to arrange this and I would also like to thank the NRF, the National Research Foundation in Singapore, here with uh, Subot Maisalkar. Thank you that you're here and that you support it. And I want to say a thank you to a person which is not here. It's uh, two persons. It's uh, Detlef Günther, the former vice president research of ETH. He really engaged into this endeavor and paved the ground, as well as Kyung Vi Lim, who his counterpart and the former director of the NRF. Great personalities both, unfortunately cannot be here, but I think they need to be mentioned. It's for me really important. But last but not least, my sincere appreciation goes to all researchers who are actively participating in this endeavor and help displaying our work to a broader audience and shaping our collective narrative through science by design in place over time. I'm going to tell you something about this endeavor. Future Cities Lab Global is an international knowledge hub that conducts transdisciplinary and comparative research on complex urban challenges. We have heard that also from our vice president. It aims to make interdependencies between cities and their hinterlands more sustainable and livable. This involves understanding how existing interdependencies function and developing solutions capitalized on local resources, for instance, energy, water, waste management, and more, on one hand only, and not only, and balance regional and global exchanges on the other hand. FCL Global is unique in its capacity to harness advanced design, digital technology, and multiple disciplines to address the urban and rural aspects of urbanization. This is done from the situated geographies of temperate Europe and tropical Asia. Let's look into some daily statistics to gain a fresh perspective on livability. In Singapore, the city's population density averages 7,804 people per square kilometer. This means, on average, each inhabitant requires around 30 square meters of living space. Furthermore, an impressive 46% of the urban area is adorned with green spaces, enhancing the city's appeal as a city in a garden. But how are these spaces used by the population? We have to think about that. Shifting our focus to Zurich, we find a population density, which is nearly half of it than in Singapore, it's about 4,700 people per square kilometer. Here, each resident enjoys approximately 40, so 10 more than in Singapore, meters of living space, offering a sense of spaciousness. Green spaces dedicated to recreational activities adorn more than 35% of the urban landscape. Additionally, nearly 60% of the city's residents can access a public green space within a 10-minute stroll. For both cities, it's important to note, however, that the quantity of green space doesn't always reflect its quality and its accessibility, as we have been reading last week by a colleague of ours in the newspaper here in Zurich, Christian Schmid. A little comparison just to see, to gain 
maybe also a qualitative and more quantitative understanding. Singapore and Switzerland, so they differ in surface, they differ in climate, but they have some things in common. Both countries, however, are embedded in a, let's say, very comfortable economic grid. And they profit, of course, of this grid, and both are rich countries. And notably, which is very important, they import more than they export. This is what we have been discussing yesterday night, too. Singapore a little bit more than Zurich, but this shows that there are strong dependencies which these cities maybe have to think about and other cities too. In our pursuit to better understand the dynamics of contemporary urbanization, the traditional notion of the city still plays a crucial role, but with its limitations becoming more apparent. In response, we have adopted the term settlement system to more accurately catch the evolving, multifaceted and interconnected nature of today's urbanization. This choice not only reflects the reality of our modern urban landscape, but also serves as a foundational framework for our endeavors to address the challenges they present and forge a path towards sustainable urbanization in the future. Our approach is anchored in the principles of science, design, engineering, and governance. Science integration brings a systematic and evidence-based approach to decision-making, policy development, and urban design. Design research can play a major role in informing decisions, fostering creativity, and ensuring that designs meet social needs. And I would dare to say, design maybe is more than design. It's a research method. Engineering principles serve as facilitators to improve a broad range of technology topics and finally help to solve real world problems. And finally, governance research is essential for fostering transparency, accountability and effective decision making in both public and private sectors. It plays a crucial role in addressing the challenges and complexity of modern societies and organizations. A comprehensive and integrated approach on these four dimensions is necessary to achieve sustainable development and to reduce the environmental footprint of fast-growing cities. As we are all aware, the inception of Future Cities Lab Global in December 2020 occurred amidst the challenging backdrop of the pandemic which imposed significant constraints on knowledge exchange and collaboration. Consequently, from the project's outset, we dedicated substantial effort to cultivating a cyber-physical space. This space was meticulously crafted to serve as a unifying hub for our diverse community, facilitating robust networking, opportunities and fostering multidisciplinary research. Its ultimate goal, the creation of our impactful engagement platform. This platform offers integrating research efforts through a comparative data repository and data management. It helps building up capacities in digital literacy and interdisciplinary research. New teaching and learning initiatives, innovative communication, dissemination, and knowledge exchange. Notably, we've made substantial efforts in harmonizing various tools developed over the past 12 years under the Future Cities Labs umbrella leading to the birth, as you can see here, of the future Cities Lab Global View. Global View stands as our pioneering platform 
for tool federation to serve public needs and interests. This innovation originally sprouted from the visionary team led by Adrienne Gretregame, which is here with us. Hi, Adrienne. In Singapore during phase two of the program. Today, this tool, which illuminates the sophisticated web of ecosystem services, has expanded its reach to encompass the Zurich hub. And as you can see, this is Zurich now. Furthermore, an additional layer of tools developed in Zurich has been integrated into this platform. The concurrent visualization of ecosystem services alongside the facets of a modern urban economy offers fresh perspectives on urban economic values. It equips us to comprehend the far-reaching impacts of ecosystems, climate considerations, soil preservation and carbon sequestration upon urban economies. Here you see the economic part of this tool, and this tool will be enriched in the future with another tool coming from our colleague Arno Schlüter, the energy tool, and so on. We keep on moving during our research and adding more and more tools on this platform. So as you can see, this will be then in the future, the full federation of all the tools which will be developed. In essence, the program is a guiding light in navigating the complexity of city development and its hinterlands, offering innovative solutions to shape more resilient, adaptive and thriving urban environments. Amidst all the complexity, let's level and never lose sight of the most significant perspective. It's all about people. Thank you so much. <laughs>